Hello Internet! What's up my peeps? Quite a while ago I decided to build myself a firewood rack because I didn't really have one. It took way, way longer than anticipated and editing this video, well it felt like it took almost as long. So, without further ado, here are the results of all of that hard work. Please enjoy! <laughs> yeah, no, fail.
Finally got that part on square and true, which meant that I could continue with the rest of the frame. These welds turned out pretty horrible for the most part. Sometimes I, I got some really good welds, but I was perfectly fine with welds of, yeah, looking like this or this. Because uh, I'll be grinding this down anyhow. As the old saying goes, a grinder and some paint makes me the welder I ain't. From time to time I actually got some pretty decent welds. I'm, I'm pretty proud of these two, for instance. Sure, I, I won't be hired as a professional welder anytime soon, but considering the welder, and I mean both this one and this one, that's, uh, that's a pretty decent result. So, I, I would assume this is another time lapse, but this time with me grinding instead of welding. This isn't the final grind, I'll, I'll do another pass with a less aggressive wheel. First off though, I need to cover these holes up. This is up, I don't care about the ones in the bottom, uh, but these I want to cover. Uh, mostly because it looks really dumb having it like this, but also because I don't want any filth and garbage and stuff. Spiders getting in here. The uh, spiders can live in the firewood, that's good enough for them. So I need to cut a couple of these out, let's see if I can't use my new plasma cutter for that thing. I'm gonna need a bit more practice with that. Ouch. This part, hopefully, I can use. I only need like that much. 21. Oh, yeah, that's the line. Oh, good. Then I guess we can. Yeah. I'll just get out my, uh, my grinder, my sander. <laughs> A 
eventually.
I wanted to use this metal compost mesh at the back of the rack to prevent the firewood from scraping against my wall. The compost mesh had a plastic coating that I needed to remove in order to be able to weld it to the frame, so I decided to use a heat gun. Unfortunately, this wasn't efficient enough though, so I pulled out my propane torch. This worked, but was way too slow, so in the end I tossed the entire mesh on a fire I made outside the garage. So, this is how I squared up the first of the vertical. Bars. Now if I if I would have it my way, I would get me some of fireball tools, mega squares and uh, ultra squares or whatever they're called, but I really can't afford $700 worth of, of squares, so this will have to do. I will start welding up here. For the lower part I'm just using a single magnetic square. This should be rigid enough to make sure that I get at least some squareness into my welds. Let's see if I'm correct.
20 minutes later. One eternity later. To be able to maneuver the rack, I placed it on one of my homemade dollies. I gave up on using the mesh and decided to use uh, wood instead. Unfortunately this created other problems that I'll get back to at the end of the video. Twenty minutes later. This is a jig I made to help me hold the tabs in place when I weld them. It's clamped to the frame and the thickness of the board aligns the tabs precisely to the edge of the frame.
much, much, much later. Here I am water blasting the frame. The aggregate in the blue bucket is the same as used when sand blasting. The result is roughly the same as when sand blasting, but I had to dry everything off to prevent it from rusting more than it already did. I decided to rattle can the parts I didn't get to with the paint gun, as that was a lot simpler. At this point in the build I realized that I had forgot to weld in tabs for the middle shelf, so instead I decided to screw them in place.
So I'll, I'll just eyeball it. Uh, start with the number 5 or the 5mm drill uh, and hopefully it'll I can get it straight enough that it won't be pointing completely in the wrong direction and the important direction is this direction because if it gets a bit wrong in this direction there's still a quite a bit of wood on either side but if I get it completely wrong in this direction it'll poke out through the underside or the top side of the wood of running out of battery. I'll give it a bit another shot and see. After drilling 64 holes and countersinking the ones that are facing forward, it's time to prep for the top coat.
You know the old saying, measure twice, cut once? Yeah. Stupid hit. Didn't really remember that, so... This is where we're at. Ah. So, yeah, remember, measure twice, cut once. Nothing to do but throw that piece away. I found a couple of replacements though. Scrap parts. I really like this old deteriorated look. It's not the strongest wood since it's been uh, on set with the rot or some sort of fungus as you can see here. But that's not really a huge problem here. Some of these are looking pretty good, some are a bit more bland, but I really like the effect that the, the rot or the degradation, I'm not really sure what the technical term, of the wood is. And for these, I need to cut this up because they are going on the back of the rack. Nonetheless. This is the first coat, we'll get a second coat. This is just standard gold, gold, <laughs> sorry about that, floor lacquer, semi-gloss. <laughs> I'm simply checking to make sure that none of the tabs or any of the welding sticks down below the actual frame.
The quality didn't turn out as expected. I maybe thinned the paint improperly or just painted it poorly, but it'll do for now. This is where we're at so far, not, not too shabby actually, I probably should have made the back slats as wide as the bottom slats and the middle slats but uh, that's too late to go back now. I would have wanted to do the bottom slats thinner but I was afraid that there would be too much dirt and grime falling through under the actual rack and then it would be really hard to clean so that's why they look the way they do. On the whole though so far pretty stoked about this things could have gone better of course but for now really pleased hoping that this will come up with some uh, warm water and some soap because I'm not really keen on repainting this again with all the with all the wood on it turns out I managed to scratch it again I'm not really sure about this paint it's supposed to be really durable but I find it to be anything but perhaps I've thinned it too much I just realized that I've scratched it down here as well
it's really close to being done. I need to touch up the paint in a few areas. And I'm not going to keep these screw heads silver because I don't have it anywhere else. So I won't do this either. I'll, I'll just uh, paint them the same black. I actually had the wood crack when I drove in that screw. But since the wood is pretty much distressed, perhaps, everywhere else. I can live with that. It's uneven, but it's it's meant to have sort of a let's call it rustic look to it, and I think I achieved that. This didn't clean up as good as I hoped it would, so I need to touch it up. didn't turn out too shabby in the end. I mean you can still see that there are screws but they're a lot more inconspicuous. And I think I got this sorted up here as well. Looks like it at least. We'll see when it dries. And this time I'm gonna let it dry properly because I think the reason the paint hasn't been that great it's because I've been too eager and not letting it dry properly. It turns out that it doesn't matter how square my contraption is if the rest of the house isn't. So the floor isn't even. Which means that I had to shim, shim this a bit. And I just realized that I'm gonna need to add some shims here as well. So let's just do that real quick. As you can see, the masonry work down here is a bit uneven and it doesn't get any better. So the actual, the rack kind of fouls up here, which means that I couldn't put it as close to the brick wall that I wanted to. So 
So this is where it will live. But at least now it's level in this direction and reasonably in this direction. Should probably come out a bit, but yeah. There you have it. The completed firewood rack. If I would have kept the mesh backing, the firewood would be able to rest on this part of the frame, as well as this part of the frame. But since I put wood backing on instead, that's almost as thick as the frame, the firewood has nothing to rest on back here. Yeah, this is my current temporary fix. For the problem I created for myself by switching out the, the metal mesh for the wooden backing. I'll, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fix this permanently, but just for now, this is what I have. That's that build done. It took way longer than needed for a number of reasons I won't go into right now. Um, I made a bunch of mistakes, but that just meant I had an opportunity to learn. So all in all, I'm really happy with the end result. As always, I hope you found this video interesting, entertaining, useful, or all of the above. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.